that. They really should be paying attention in school. It's clueless. No one was in the 90s. Oh. Hey guys, welcome to Fried Ask Me Anything. Sorry. I'm just testing your reflexes. There we go. You're a bit delayed. <laughs> See a doctor. <laughs> welcome to Fried Ask Me Anything, the show where you guys submit your questions via video on Vine and Instagram using the hashtag Fried Ask Me Anything. Uh, with me today is Trace Dominguez, the man you know him from D News. Um, that corner you work on on Thursdays? Different corners, Thursday, Tuesday. Depends. Oh, really? Yeah, south side, north side. Oh, look at you. Yeah. We call that a side hustle. Let's dive right into it, shall we? You ready? I'm ready. Uh, the first question comes from Gothical Phase, who asks, What is life? What is life? It's a delicious cereal. Ah! It's really, <laughs> cinnamon life was my favorite. We got some whole wheat. It was uh, really good. Full grains. Regular life I was not on board with, but cinnamon life was like my jam. Cinnamon life was like a reward. Reg regular life just kind of tasted like a tasteless wheat cereal. It wasn't, just wasn't good, but cinnamon life. You know they have like competitions to who can be Mikey? Really? Oh, Mikey likes it. Which is something my parents used to say to me, like because I was a very finicky eater. Oh, Mikey likes it. But I didn't get, get what that what it was. was. Yeah. I didn't catch that reference. I have an Uncle Michael, so I kept thinking <laughs> that they were talking about him. Like, and oh, I was your like, Uncle Michael likes it. I'm so eating his favorite food right you now. You should like it. So I had this bond with my Uncle Michael Every that time. never really existed. He this next question comes from that fun guy, seventeen. Hey, how do you grow a beard, bro? I can't grow one, and uh, girls say that guys are more attractive when they have a beard. I want to be one of those guys, you know. What's your secret? You wear lotion. <laughs> so beard growing. Yeah. You got a beard. I've got a half a beard. So sorta. I think age plays the biggest factor in that. Right. Yeah. You kind of have to be of a certain age, though. I had friends in high school who could grow full beards, which is weird. It's a mistake if you're in high school and you're growing a beard because you just look like, and I, I know because I did this, I had a goatee. I had a goatee. Uh, I think my junior year of high school, and I was like, I look like an adult, but your kid, your face still looks like a baby. Right. So you look like either um, a, an, a woman with a beard, Right. Or you look like a kid that's trying to break into a rated R movie. Right. Shit Welcome to Beard Chat. With yeah, Ross I know, right? Trace. No joke. <laughs> I, so talking about Beard Chat, Tom Green, Oh, I hope he never sees this. Tom Green, uh, I think, still does his show out of his house. And I had a friend at the time who was his producer. And, like, we were young. This was, like, 2009. And he goes, Tom Green's out of town if you guys want to come over and just shoot something on his, <laughs> on his set. And my friend Eric and I shot a show called Beard Chat. No way! Beard Talk. And, and everything came down to Rutherford B. Hayes. We just kept being, like... Uh, like Good beard. this guy's beard. What do you think about it? Good it's beard. It's okay. You know whose beard is better? Better? Rutherford B. Hayes. This question comes from Kara McPearrington. What's the weirdest or funniest thing you've ever read on Facebook? Because I know there's a lot of weird stuff. So I know right off the bat, my friend Chris has maybe one of the best Facebooks just because he always posts like the weirdest videos that you'll never find on like Reddit or anything like that. Uh, but one time he posted a photo. Uh, that he took, and it just said, this day is off to an awful start. Hashtag idiot, hashtag moron, or something to the like. Okay. And it was a picture of his toothbrush <laughs> with uh, a paste on it, and next to it was a tube of Icy Hot. Oh. <laughs> and I thought, like, I laughed out loud, I screenshotted it, and I just, like, I don't know, it's just like, oh, that's a bad day. That is not a good day. Like, you're tired in the morning when you're doing your toothbrushing, and you're just like, you know, like, why is my oh. mouth icy oh. <laughs> and now hot? <laughs> I mean, so this, it actually reminds me that one time I played a prank on my sister. I put Origel on her toothbrush and I forgot about it. Um, and what does Origel, Origel do? Or, it's like the canker sore stuff that'll oh, like God. numb your mouth yeah, or apart. Yeah. So I put on her toothbrush and uh, I forgot that I had done this. And then one day she's brushing her teeth and on, from the other room I just hear, Ugh! <laughs> 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 And she comes running into my room and she goes, what? You, you put oil on my toothbrush? <laughs> and I went, oh yeah, and I just died laughing. The only story I have from that is when I accidentally put gold bond onto my you It's anti-itch medication and I had poison oh, did ivy. Oh, you do the medicated kind? Yeah. You're not supposed to go blue, always go yellow. You go, wait, hold on, real quick, I think I don't want to pass over this. You have poison ivy on your junk? Yep. Okay, so yeah. 
I, my mom is a master gardener, uh, and she was cutting down trees and brush in the front yard. I grew up in the woods. Mm -hmm. And uh, she comes inside, it was summer, so I was in shorts and t-shirts similar to now, and she's like, Trace, can you come help me like drag this tree out of the woods and toss it on the brush pile? <laughs> so I was like, cool, let's do it. I went outside. She didn't notice that she had gloves, long sleeve shirt, long pants, like a hat with like a bee net kind of style stuff over it, so she didn't, yep. And I just grabbed it, threw it on the brush pile, and then I really had to pee. Oh, hand to junk. So I had it all over my arms, hands. My dad helped too, he had it on his face. Oh. We had to go to the hospital and get shots and take steroids to get rid of it. Oh. But it was no. awful. That's the worst. And when something itches that bad and it's in a more private region of your body, you you're like, it. you want to do anything you can to yeah. get it to stop itching. Thus, gold bond medicated anti-itch like stuff, which ended up just burning. I saw the best gift the other day. It was called Wipe Away the Tears. And it was this mother who was chopping peppers and her daughter was crying next to her. And she went, oh, don't cry. Ah! <laughs> no! Ah! <laughs> Why would you do this to me? This next one comes from Vine, and it's from Bridget M. Hi, Ross. So sorry to darken the mood and everything, but what's your biggest regret? Do you have one? My biggest regret? No. I try not to have regrets. My regrets are always along the lines of people that I might have offended. Not necessarily oh. I made a decision that affected my life, but more along, like, you know, if I did something that impacted someone negatively, I'm sure that there were some people in middle school or elementary school. Yeah. Everyone's going through a hard time. Trying to not be mean to each other, but in doing so, they're mean to each other. Yeah. yeah. I mean, wait, no one's trying not to be mean to each other in middle school. They're out for blood. Oh. I mean, but it's all it's all from a point of like, let me see if I can push off my negative feelings about my body and my sure. life situation onto uh, someone else that I view. Like, what is it? Like, there was a, a someone that told a story that they were like, you know, a fat kid, and then like a fatter kid came to town and they started making fun of the fatter kids. Right. So it's like, don't make fun of me anymore, make fun make of that fun fat of the kid. Fat kid. Yeah. That kid's even fatter. Yeah. You know? Yeah. My biggest regrets are stuff that I very sharply recall that I was like, oops, I shouldn't have made that like comment. You know, like yeah. I was at brunch with somebody and I was like, oh man, so and so is going to sit next to so and so. And like, that's so cool because they could actually like maybe get along. And one of their exes was sitting on the other side of me and is a good friend of mine and was like, I have to leave. This is too Aww. hard. And I just feel so, I felt so bad. Yeah. And I still like feel bad. Yeah, about that? <laughs> yeah. Let it go. I'm trying. Yeah, I'm one trying. day. I'm working on it. Yeah, as for like regretting things in your life that you've done to like impact yourself, decisions that you've made, I, I don't, I'm very happy with where I am. Yeah. Uh, I mean, sure, I could have made better decisions, but if you hold on to that kind of a regret, you're just going to be sad about stuff if, all the time. If you made better decisions, you would have never learned the lessons that came from the bad decisions True. in the first place. And just to say, who's to say that the decision, if you would have changed that decision that maybe sh this girl's thinking, oh, I have a regret about this, maybe if she'd done that other thing, she would have had a regret anyway as well. Yeah. Like, do I move to Chicago or L.A.? Well, you can think and what if yourself to death if you want. Yeah, and don't. <laughs> yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching Fried Ask Me Anything. Next week we have an incredibly special guest. I'm going to be down at Comic Con uh, with Emily DeRaven from Lost and Once Upon a Time. So use the hashtag Fried Ask Me Anything. Ask some weird questions, you guys. Let's have fun with this. Let's say they don't have to be about us personally. They could be life philosophies, all that kind of good stuff. We know uh, the answers. We have all of the answers. So yeah, post it to Instagram video or on Vine and we'll be able to pull them up like we did today. Uh, Trace, you guys can find him at D News, D -news Anywho, Test Tube, Test Tube Anywho. all those shoots. I mean, we, we've got some links for you guys to click if you want to see more of Trace and follow the, follow the guy on Twitter. He's got a Twitter account. I tweet. And we were talking about Twi it's Trace Dominguez, and you yes. need to spell Dominguez, D O M I N G U E S. E Z. You'll get there. That's why I think I don't have that many followers. People can't spell, <laughs> they can't spell my name. Who am I following on Twitter? Not, not me, I guess. Oh, I'm following uh, Trace Dominguez. Dominguez? Yeah, and he's, a, he's a, a guest model. He's my cousin. He's good. Uh, you guys, thank you so much for watching, and uh, I'll see you on Monday.